An Australian-led team of scientists says it's doing something that the Japanese can't seem to manage. They're carrying out extensive research on whales without killing a single mammal. The expedition spent six weeks on the Southern Ocean studying migration, ageing and feeding patterns and they'll present their finding to the International Whaling Commission later this year. The ABC's Leave Casbin reports. Hunting for whales in the name of science. The Australian-led group has been tagging the mammals as well as collecting biopsies. The often dangerous work has targeted mainly humpback and minke whales as the scientists try to better understand the mammals. Most of these whales were taken down to very tiny numbers and are now recovering. And so we want to know where they're recovering in the Southern Ocean. It's a big area. Uh, these, are, you know, these are big questions for the whole Southern Ocean ecosystem. Despite how it may look, these whales are not under threat not from the scientists anyway. At one point in the boat today we had thousands, literally thousands of sooty shearwaters feeding around us and, and three humpback whales moving through that group feeding on surface krill. Um, you know, it's just quite extraordinary. They've spent the last month using darts to try and remove part of the whale tissue. It's hoped analysis of the tissue will tell them more about ageing and feeding patterns. Part of the scientists' aim is to also better understand the whale's migration patterns. The migration path of the whales is not very well known, but we know of the two major points in their life, you know, breeding in the tropics and feeding down here in Antarctica. And we've never been able to get down here. This is the first time we've been able to come down and do good science. The team is hoping that the research will cement the group's view that whales don't need to be killed for science. All of the data will be passed on to the International Whaling Commission, which will next meet in June. After six weeks in the Southern Ocean, the 17 scientists are now on their way home. They're due to arrive back in New Zealand next week. Leif Kasbin, ABC News, Auckland.